Hey, welcome back to the January house. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. Today's video is a yard sale haul video, and it's a bit of a continuation from last week's uh, yard sale haul video that I made where I went out on Thursday. There was a few Thursday yard sales, and I went out and picked a few items up. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it here. Go back and check it out, uh, because in my yard sale videos and my live auction haul videos, I always ask you to let me know in the comments if there's something that I missed that I should have got. Uh, it just helps me learn about different items and uh, it's done very well for me so far. And in that video, I got a message from Back by Silver and he said, I can't believe you walked past that large Piplup plush. And I said, what the heck is a Piplup plush? And where in the video did I walk past it? and uh, he messaged me in and I went back and watched the video and sure enough I walked right past it so that yard sale was on a Thursday so Friday morning bright and early I got up and I went down there to see if it was still available and I went back and got it look Piplup Piplup is a Pokemon plush look at the size of this thing and I don't know how I missed it when it's new a tag that still has the Pokemon tag on it how cool is that now, the only thing about this plush is that it's a little dirty. You might be able to see like a spot right here on there. The bottom's dirty a little bit. It's a little hard to see, uh, but I don't really know how to clean it. Uh, it's got like beads inside. It's kind of stiff plush, but I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to mess it up. So if you know how to clean these without me messing it up, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Some of the comps on these are like 40 to $50. So I'd really like to clean it without messing it up and hopefully uh, send it off to a new home. So I picked that up on Friday morning. And then I went to another yard sale and they had this trash can full of baseball bats. And I always hear people talking about baseball bats. My buddy Joe, uh, Philly Picker, has done very well picking up some baseball bats. So I really don't know what I'm looking for when it comes to bats. Uh, I know there's some kind of drop number you're supposed to find. And if the bat is made out of a different metal or alloy, that's important as well. So I sent a picture to Joe, the Philly Picker, and Dan Art Vandalay, and I said, hey, what am I looking for here? Uh, and they looked around and I ended up picking up this Rip It baseball bat. And the comps were like $45, maybe $40. I got it for $2, cleaned it up, took pictures of it. Uh, it had some scuffs and stuff on it, but there's no dings or any damage to it. Uh, the grip had a little wear, uh, but I disclosed all that in the listing. I have one watcher on it. I haven't sent any offers out on it yet. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'll let you know in the future what sold video if I sold it. And then I picked up these uh, USA Dream Team cups. Remember the Dream Team from 1992? You can see Jordan in the one cup, Scottie Pippen was there, Larry Bird, Stockton, Carl Malone. I had a number of these cups, a few doubles. I ended up selling them in my YouTube auctions. They did pretty well, so that was a good pickup. Also picked up these two Moshi plush. I don't know, they had good comps on them. The Frog uh, one was comping at 35 to $40 and the gorilla or monkey one, the blue one, uh, there was one listed, but no solds. So uh, I don't know, they were 50 cents a piece. So I figured why not, I'll spend a buck and see how they do. I also picked up these sweet Philadelphia Eagles McDonald's glasses from 1980. They're in really good shape. The rest of them are up here on the shelf right there. I'll put a picture here so you can see. Uh, the set of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. They're in really good shape. They don't look like they were ever um, put in the dishwasher uh, because there's no fading on the on the characters. Uh, but they've got Bill Berge, Harold Carmichael, uh, Wilbur Montgomery, just uh, a great time in Eagles history, 1980 football. Uh, so I might keep them. I'm a huge Eagles fan, uh, but I might sell them on eBay as well. So I picked those up. I also picked up this uh, crocheted uh, granny square, Roseanne blanket, whatever you want to call it. I just sold one of these uh, not too long ago, and I just sold this one, actually. So I picked it up for a dollar, and I sold it to my buddy Joe, the Philly Picker. His wife liked it. So I sold it to him. That's out of here. Great sale. I picked up this Robo Quad uh, robot with remote and manual. Uh, it's really cool. You can program it to do all different things. It works. I paid $4 for it and I sold it within one day on eBay for $44 plus shipping. So a great pickup there. Uh, this is another robot by the same company. The company is Wowie. Uh, it's the same type of deal where it's a humanoid robot, uh, but I don't have the remote. I didn't realize it came with a remote, uh, but I bought it for 50 cents. Not a great pickup. Hopefully I can sell for parts on eBay. 
And then I picked up a number of these McFarlane uh, sports figures. Uh, McFarlane figures uh, were big in the action figure superhero world, you know, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, those type of things. Uh, but here you can see like John Elway, Tim Brown was in there. I sold two of them. There were two Yankee ones, uh, Yogi Berra and Reggie Jackson on my YouTube auction. And then I put the other three that I had up on eBay uh, for sale. And one gentleman bought all three of them plus shipping. So I have no more of them left. Another good purchase there. And then I picked up the Sesame Street uh, pennants. They're like pennant material. Like you used to hang a pennant of your, of your favorite team up on the wall when you were a kid. Uh, but they're from 1976 and I don't think they're worth a whole lot. I might try to sell them all as one lot. I haven't listed them yet. Uh, Big Bird, Ernie and Cookie Monster there. I might try the whole lot for like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks uh, plus shipping on eBay. See how it does. And then I picked up a number of these Bionicles and I'm not really big into selling Legos. Uh, I've sold just pounds, you know, big lots of Legos, like pounds of Legos before, but I've never sold specific sets of Legos before, uh, but I've heard that Bionicles do well, and there was a tub of these Bionicles, and I got them all for like eight bucks, uh, but then when I got home and I started going through them, whoever had them uh, before me, you know, had put some together and then taken them apart and just kind of mixed different parts and pieces in these canisters so it took me the better part of a day to figure out you know what pieces went with what canister but i've actually sold three of them already and i have watchers on uh two other ones so i've already got my money back on the amount that i've spent on these bionicles so definitely a good pickup and you can also see in this picture i picked up a vintage mickey mouse hat ears uh it was like felt and it was red which i'd never seen a red one before uh, I actually had a red one and a blue one. I don't know why the blue one didn't make it into this picture, but uh, I sold this set, the red and the blue one, on my YouTube auction. And I also picked up these Star Wars books. Um, they're from 78 and 80. Uh, they're not in great shape, but I only paid 75 cents a piece. So I'll lock them up on eBay and hopefully you'll see them in another What's Old video as well. All right, so that was my Friday morning of yard sales. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Leave me a message in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.